Welcome to EMTB videos. If you've been into e-bikes for a while, you may remember the biggest batteries from Bosch and Yamaha used to be only 400 watt hours. These were external batteries weighing about 2.5 kilos. Around 2015, a huge leap in lithium ion technology was made. And already in 2016, a lot of the EMTBs were running a 500 watt hours battery and they were still about 2.5 kilos. So we had a big increase in energy density. Gravimetric energy density is a measurement of how much energy one kilo of battery can store. The battery cell of 2014 was a Samsung 29E cell. It's the 18650 form factor and a capacity of 2850 milliamp hours. The energy density was 210 watt hours per kilo. For 2016, Bosch and Shimano launched a 500 watt hours battery, and I believe Yamaha did too. They used a 3500 milliamp hour cell, such as the Samsung 35E or similar. Energy density increased to about 250 watt hours per kilo, an increase of 20%. So what about the new 600 and 700 watt hours batteries that has been released in the last couple of years? They are much bigger, so they've got newer battery chemistry, right? Well, not really. The specialized 700 watt hours battery consists of 40 cells of the 21700 form factor. They're using a 4800 milliamp hours cell with a claimed weight of 69 grams resulting in an energy density of about 254 watt-hours per kilo. So it seems there hasn't been much progress when it comes to the gravimetric energy density. The batteries have improved in other ways though. For instance, cost has come down by increasing production capacity and by using less of the expensive cobalt. So when will we finally see a significant increase in energy density again? Toyota has always been eager to claim that today's battery technology isn't good enough. Now they claim they're able to produce a solid state battery that can handle a good amount of charge cycles. There are several advantages to the solid state battery. It can handle low temperatures and it's quite safe. Energy density is currently targeted at about 350 watt hours per kilo. Unfortunately, this battery isn't set to hit EVs before 2025, and most likely even later for e-bikes. Tesla has announced their battery day in September 15th of this year, and expectations are high. Tesla continues to develop the current lithium ion battery. They're using the NCA chemistry. Tesla has recently acquired Maxwell Technologies, and they have announced a patent for a tabless electrode. So we expect Tesla to present a new battery with increased energy density thanks to the Maxwell dry electrode technology. Maxwell has claimed up to 300 watt hours per kilo, which is close to a 20% increase. Also, we expect reduced cost and reduced internal resistance thanks to the tabless electrode patent. Reduced internal resistance will improve power output, charge speed and battery life. But this technology is owned by Tesla, and they will probably use all these cells themselves. So I guess we won't see these cells in e-bikes anytime soon. But Tesla isn't the only one improving the current lithium-ion battery. The popular NCM chemistry is also being improved. The NCM811 has a cobalt content of about 10%. That's down from 30% in the old NCM532 chemistry. The NCM811 cells are currently in production, and they are now being put in cars. In September of 2019, 18% of all batteries produced in China was this new NCM811 chemistry. It was second only to the older NCM532. The NCM811 should be about 280 watt hours per kilo for the cylindrical cells used in e-bikes. As I've said, production is high. The big Chinese manufacturer CATL, Panasonic, LG Chem, and probably others are producing these. A lot of the cells will go to the car industry, but it shouldn't take too many years before these are available to the e-bike industry. 
there is a high level of secrecy regarding batteries. No one in the e-bike industry is willing to share details, so I've got no date. So what does this mean? An energy density of 280 watt hours per kilo means the 18650 cell is up from 3500 milliamp hours to about 4000 milliamp hours. And the 21700 format is up from just under 5000 milliamp hours to about 5600. So the old 500 watt hours battery will suddenly become a 580 watt hours battery. The Bosch and Shimano batteries of about 630 watt hours will be 720. And the specialized 700 watt hours battery will be about 800. And I expect there will be little to no increase in weight for any of these batteries. The old 380 watt hours battery used by Focus also becomes interesting. It's about half a kilo lighter than the lightest 500 watt hour battery. And with the new cells, it will be 430 watt hours. This cell configuration could become popular for the new lightweight and lower power EMTBs. I'm not offering any guarantees, but e-bikes will of course get improved battery cells sooner or later.